So, as you can see, this exhibition is a format exhibition. All the presented works are ring binders made by artists. It's very abstract, um, the idea of how an artist works. And the ring binder usually stands for office work, so it's like the image for what people think of it, what work looks like. And I really like that a lot of artists, or a few artists, use the ring binder um, also as like some artistic medium. And you see in this show that they use it very differently um, as some kind of playful field uh, where you can rearrange stuff easily. Maybe you collect your material for collages or as reference for paintings or as a preparation for an exhibition or for a very personal system and logic. So this is an example for a binder that is completely a preparation for one project. Um, that was a project that she did with this shopping house called Nordstrom in New York. Um, and here it's titled Bling Installation. It's also one of the few binders that has a cover. Um, and in here you see um, all the material she collected in the preparation of the show. So it's sometimes uh, it's reminders for herself, it's notes. Um, here's even like some stickers that are left over to repair the pages. This one fell off here. Uh, and it starts with this, the entrance to the, to the shopping house. And um, as you can see, it also has some categories here. I really like this moment, uh, bling blings. That's a part of the show where she produced big ornaments uh, for the wall, like huge big ornaments. And here you can see how she came to find these ornaments. So this is a screenshot. Uh, that she took off of another video and she circled this ornament that she liked of a wallpaper on the wall or um, what I really like is a printout of a GIF, some kind of like a flip book. So this, this GIF starts with one pixel and then later becomes these sparkles. Um, and then on other pages you see she circles the moments that she likes and then later reproduces as um, big decorative ornaments, like here, pixelation. But also material studies, like this one. Or on a later page, you even see some textile samples. Yeah, so this is like some cutouts, some stencils, some already print out forms and shapes. And if you see the whole show, then it of course makes sense. So there's furniture, there's big printouts, there's ornaments, and there's a video. Um, yeah. Or a note to herself that she had during the preparation of the show uh, posted to her door. Think pop, be pop. This was a long research of trying to figure out who's working with binders. Maggie I knew because we did the show at Kunsthalle this year together and I knew she was working with binders in preparation. Some of them I knew from studio visits, some of them were my friends, but then also some were pointed out for me and then at some point it becomes selective, uh, how do you say, um, perception. So all of a sudden you see binders everywhere and then um, not, not everywhere, but yeah. But it is a very intimate um, format to most of the people because it's not a resolved artwork. Um, and that's why also some people disagreed or like didn't want to be shown in the show. So my program is called Backrooms because first I had another space. And this building has a lot of side spaces. As you know, there's a lot of institutions and galleries and other art spaces, but also spaces like this that no one knows about. And it's this huge building with a lot of separés and uh, back rooms. Um, and I first, Daniel asked me to work for him as a curator to do a side program for Kunsthalle with events and like little other hybrid formats that could show maybe like more concentrated 
smaller shows that we can't do in the big show uh, in the big floors, because this space kind of grew over the years uh, as some kind of yeah, like for everything. So it it originally was a storage space, uh, and then it became a party location for the after parties of the openings, and then also some artists did screenings in here of movies because it's nice, it's dark, you don't have to. Uh, and close a whole room to make it dark. And uh, then other curators, Katrin Bentele, who's now at Kunstverein Düsseldorf, and Matthew Hansen did a really good uh, talk program show down here. And then when I started, it was kind of clear that we would do a lot of the programming in that space. So it's very good for screenings, but also talks, concerts, performances. Um, yeah, And I like to do these kind of uh, projects that are about this kind of besides the art. So what's what's happening on the way to an artwork um, that is most of the time not shown or present. So the first program that I did was um, poetry of artists who usually work in a different kind of field and most of them have never read it to an audience. So they read their poetry to an audience and with an audience and also all brought one artwork um, so that's how it started and this is where we are now. So this is also part of what is happening on the side to the artworks and most of us just see the finished paintings or videos or performances in the art spaces but most of the time the artist is with themselves and this is what I like about it is because it materializes um, as some kind of form that we can exhibit and it gives us an idea of how artists work. Sucks. <laughs> I used to work. <laughs> I even 